There are hundreds of different supplements out there and many of them say that they improve your health and make you live longer. But most of those supplements actually have no track record of being beneficial for longevity or increasing your life expectancy. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the top five longevity supplements that actually work. Do it. So number one is going to be creatine monohydrate. You might be surprised why is this sports supplement in this list? Well, creatine, yeah, it has a long track record of being most effective at improving muscle strength, muscle speed, muscle power, and muscle mass, but it also has many longevity benefits, such as it improves cognition, it helps with brain aging, it helps with methylation, and is just also very beneficial for reducing the demand for sleep. So creatine as a molecule is almost vital for life because it's used to recycle ATP and produce energy. So without energy, your everything else begins to fall apart. You're going to start aging faster, and part of the reason why you age has to do with the, you know, decrease in energy production. Creatine also is very safe. It has little to no negative side effects and it may cause some adverse side effects if you take like large doses, but even doses of 20 grams a day hasn't been found to have any like real negative side effects on kidney function or anything else. So I do think that creatine is something that pretty much every person could take and even teenagers uh, it has been found to be safe for teenagers as well. You don't need to take a lot of creatine, just taking two to three grams already provides you with the adequate amount of creatine on a daily basis that is used for energy production and in, in so doing you will have an increase in your muscle strength which obviously is very important for longevity to have muscle strength and adequate amount of muscle mass but it also helps to reduce your brain's uh, energy demands or reduces the brain's demand for sleep. Get more sleep out of sleeping less and most people you know obviously they experience some aspects of sleep deprivation or irregular sleeping patterns and uh, using some creatine you can buffer against that and avoid some of the negative side effects of sleep loss. I don't sleep, I wait. Number two is going to be collagen. So this is another supplement that um, many people think that is a hoax or it doesn't work. But there are at least a dozen of different kinds of uh, human clinical trials showing that supplementing collagen peptides, hydrolyzed collagen peptides, improves skin wrinkles, improves skin thickness, and reduces markers of skin aging. So collagen is one of the most abundant proteins in your body and uh, most of the skin is made of collagen and it pretty much helps to slow down skin aging. What we see with aging is a significant decrease in skin collagen content and uh, you lose about 1% of your skin collagen per year after the age of 20. So pretty much everyone in already starting from their 20s would benefit from uh, taking some collagen and uh, the best form of that is hydrolyzed collagen peptides. The dose Research can vary depends on how much you know uh, collagen you actually get from diet but anything from 5 to 15 grams is a good amount number three is going to be glycine one of my favorite amino acids and uh, yes you do get some glycine from collagen but only one third of collagen is glycine and uh, that's not nearly enough of how much you actually would need so on a daily basis to actually boost that collagen turnover we would need significantly more uh, glycine than we actually get and uh, just getting it from the collagen supplement it's itself isn't uh, enough you might need even up to 12 20 even like 36 grams of glycine per day but for most people the adequate dose for supporting collagen turnover is going to be around 10 to 15 maybe 20 grams of glycine per day glycine also has many other benefits it actually helps with creatine synthesis which we talked about already but it also helps with the synthesis of glutathione so one of the main amino acids in producing glutathione is glycine. So with age, you see an increase in oxidative stress and counteracting the inflammation or the inflammation that occurs with aging, you need some antioxidant offense. And glutathione is the body's master antioxidant, the most powerful one. And with adequate amounts of glutathione, you will be able to like mitigate some of the decline in functions that occurs with aging and also to counteract some of the other age-related conditions like high blood sugar, high lipids, you know, hypertension, etc. And diabetes. Number four is going to be N-acetylcysteine or NAC. So NAC is another amino acid that is needed for boosting uh, glutathione or producing glutathione and uh, combining glycine with NAC or the glynac as it's called has been found to actually extend lifespan in uh, mice by up to 28 or 26 uh, percent. So it is a pretty significant increase for mice at least, and uh, it, uh, the most of the results have to do with the uh, increase in glutathione levels and just the increased antioxidant defense that occurs. NAC also has some other benefits on immunity, 
But uh, the biggest reason why I think it's worthwhile to take it is to combine it together with glycine and get this, you know, double combo on the glutathione production. And last, number five is going to be niacin or vitamin B3. So niacin, historically, it has been used as a cardiovascular disease supplement that actually improves survival and helps to lower cholesterol levels in uh, cardiovascular disease. So it's a uh, very you know, beneficial for lowering lipids and heart disease, cardiovascular disease is one of the most, you know, top killers in modern society. Most people, you know, at least one out of four people will die to uh, cardiovascular disease and lowering the lipids, lowering cholesterol levels and in just improving the lipid profile with niacin, I think is something that, you know, even regular people uh, could uh, could use as a preventive uh, measure. Taking niacin in, in large doses all the time, like in the long term, may induce some aspects of insulin resistance or it reduces like your insulin sensitivity slightly, but uh, in moderate amounts, like maybe even like 50 milligrams of niacin a day has uh, really no negative side effects and it does have a positive effect on the lipids and the cholesterol. Now the insulin resistance also comes usually from the flush version of uh, niacin and uh, if you have ever taken niacin then it makes you itch a little bit, makes your skin red and, and such, uh, but that comes from the flush version of niacin which is niacin. If you take the non-flush version which is niacinamide then you can avoid some of the um, insulin resistance aspects or the potential induction of insulin resistance uh, and you also avoid the flush. So I personally like the niacinamide version because niacinamide also feeds into the recycling of NAD, which is another critical energy molecule in the body that goes down with age. And to recycle NAD, then you need niacinamide, which is one of the molecules that feeds into the NAD recycling pathway. So there you have it. These are the top five longevity supplements that actually work. Check out my other video about some other longevity supplements worthwhile taking. But do you want to slow down aging and live longer? If yes, then I am looking for more people who want to reverse their biological clock. If you're interested, then email me the word health to info at and I'll send you the details. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.